Hi, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com and welcome back to Hair Romance, a place that's all about loving your hair. So today's video is a request and I've been asked about ways to refresh curls on the second day. Or it could be third, or it could be fourth, or it could be seventh. No judgement. And you shouldn't be washing your hair every day if you have curly hair anyway. So I've got a few videos on my channel uh, which I'll link somewhere around here. Uh, and they've been really popular because I have a little trick for using heat that I use to always get a perfect result. So if you definitely, definitely want to get an exact result, that is my go-to way that I always style my hair. But sometimes you're just at home or you don't want to be using heat all the time. Um, so I've got a couple of methods um, of heat-free ways to refresh your curls on the second day. Now the first one um, is of course a little bit of preparation and that's making sure that you go to bed the right way so that your curls wake up pretty good in the morning. Uh, the main way you wreck your hair overnight um, is by tossing and turning, um, a rough pillowcase, this sort of thing. Um, I'm a, I dream a lot so I'm always moving a lot in my sleep. So I can wake up with a bit of a bird's nest. So the trick I use is I always clip up my hair. Now the clip I use, I have not been able to find it at the moment. Um, but the one thing I love about it, it has a flat bottom. I am on the lookout for these. If you know where you can find one, please let me know. This is a Lady Jane one and there's a smaller version still available. But this one, yeah, I can't find it. I'm going to find it. Um, but the thing that works well, so what you want to look for in a clip that will be comfortable, um, is it has a silicon inner uh, and it has a nice flat base. So I don't get any like bars sticking into my head and the silicon holds my hair and stays in place. This is great. But if you can't, these are really, really easy to find. Uh, and these are Invisibobbles. Um, you can also get these from a few other brands, but they are a, um, a great loose elastic that doesn't leave a mark in your hair. Uh, and what I do with these, um, which I've shown in my other videos, I'll quickly show you as well, is that I put my hair up right on top of my head. Like really, you almost want to get your head upside down. I'm not even doing a very good job now, but kind of so that it's right up. Um, and this technique is called pineappling because you end up, looking a bit like a pineapple. <laughs> so with this technique, uh, what I like to do is clip my hair up um, and then sleep like that and then in the morning let my hair down and I'm left with quite a low bit of volume. So this is my hair, this is our second day hair and I haven't put any other product in it um, except how it is now. Uh, the other thing as well is to sleep on a silk pillowcase. Um, everyone, I, I'm hearing so much more talk about this now which is great because it's such an old trick. My mum told me about it from years ago. Um, and if you are on a bit of a budget, you can always get a vintage silk scarf, which you can pick up pretty cheaply, especially the really ugly ones, but no one will see it at home. Tie it around your pillow, uh, and then you can be sleeping in a silk pillowcase for just a few dollars. Otherwise, there's some beautiful ones on the market from Slip and the Good Night Company. Um, they have some incredible pillowcases, which I highly recommend. And I have both of those ones at home. So sleeping on a, on a good surface and having your hair up is going to help. Um, if you don't like having anything in your hair, um, what I can recommend is um, a technique that a reader told me about um, and she described it as uh, sleeping like the Little Mermaid, sleeping like Ariel, which I thought was really funny. But sometimes I do do this if I am just kind of maybe having a little lay down and I want to squash my hair. This is quite good if you just want to sit down and read for a while or hang out. Um, where she puts all her hair up and sort of lays it out like a fan behind her on the pillow. Uh, and I think this is, that's a great way if I'm just like laying on the sofa and I don't want to squash on my hair, just do that. And if, you've, if you're a very quiet sleeper, that'll work for you. Now, the next trick, so now you've sort of woken up with hair that looks a bit like this or maybe looks worse. Uh, my hair's a mix of like a few straighter sections, a few curly sections. It has its, a mind of its own, always does. So what I'd recommend next is to have a, um, a steamy shower works really well for me. So after I have a shower, I still keep my hair clipped up in the shower. Um, I don't wash my face in the shower because I find the water's too hot. So I just wash my body and I keep my face and hair um, out of the shower. I have a really hot shower. So uh, it's important if you have a shower as hot as I do that you're not putting your face under that water either. So just my body and then when I come back out, um, I wash my face and then I'll unclip my hair and kind of let the steam from the shower that's built up kind of work into my hair, it kind of just gives it a little bit more volume. But if you want to recreate this, if you don't shower in the morning or you don't have a spoiling hot shower like me, uh, you can just use a really fine water mist. So you need to pick up one of these. 
Uh, these little water spray bottles, um, I've had this one for ages. You can buy these anywhere at supermarkets, um, anywhere, um, for a couple of dollars. And all you want to do is just have a nice little fine mist of water. Um, because frizz comes a lot from dry hair, so you need to add a little bit of moisture back in to reset your curls. Um, I just like to lightly mist the product through my hair um, and give it a little bit of a scrunch up. I can also spot any curls that are looking a little bad and maybe concentrate more water on those and twist them to try and reform the curl. Now once you've added in that water and your hair's had a chance to refresh and your curls come back to life a little bit, you need to make sure that you can set them. Um, a really quick trick for me is just to mix a little bit of water with my conditioner. Um, you want to grab, if you're following the Curly Girl method, you want to use a silicon-free conditioner like Darshana. Uh, this is a great product from a really small business that I love to support. Um, but otherwise, whatever conditioner you use is fine. Uh, and I just mix a really small amount, just a little bit of water on your hands, just to loosen that down and then run that through your curls. And I find that that conditioner works really well for taming um, frizz that sort of works all the way down and it's kind of all through my hair and also helps um, to really hydrate the ends of my hair that might be looking a bit frayed. Uh, another tip you can do is you can create your own leave-in spray. Taking that another water bottle similar to this, you can mix a little bit of conditioner and water, about one part conditioner to five parts water. Um, and give that a good shake and you can use that instead of your water spray to do a two-in-one. If you really want to get a little bit more hold and your hair needs a bit of extra help, um, going for a gel or a, uh, a custard can work really well. Um, I like the Kinky Curly um, Curling Custard, that is a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, but this product's great, it has like a sort of weird jelly texture. Um, or like a custard gel, to be honest, it's the best way to describe it. Um, and it dries, it does form a bit of a cast on your hair. So I use that if I want to redefine any ends or redefine any curls. Um, let that set and then um, scrunch up the um, cast to reveal softer curls. Maybe about, depending on how damp my hair is, maybe like an hour or two later. And if you wake up and your hair is a total mess, you can do a half start again. And what I mean by this is where I would wet my hair down, not completely in the shower, but um, almost so that it's half wet through. And then I would put uh, my, either like a gel and, and a curl cream back through my hair and almost come out with wet hair. So I haven't had to wash it all the way through and wash my scalp, I'm just resetting my curls. And then I would use a diffuser and just quickly re-dry my hair so that I'm ready to go. And that routine probably would only take me um, maximum half an hour. With that, it's not a full wash, but it's um, fresh curls to start the day again. Another tip to leave you with uh, to refresh your curls is just to check where your part is sitting. Um, often um, curls can get quite flat on top um, and you get a lot more volume here at the ends. Um, so you wanna check that how your part is sitting because a flat part can also give the illusion of less volume. And a bit more of a zigzag curving part um, can create the look of volume. So with my hair, um, I always like to have a bit of a side part, but I have it curving back around so that I have some curls sitting this way uh, and some sitting around here. And you can just move some curls around to see where that sits better um, to create a little bit more volume, particularly at the crown or around the sides and top of your head. I really hope these tips help for a heat-free curl refresh in the morning. Uh, I'll also link my full curly hair routine if you'd like to check how I wash and style my curls. And come over to hairromance.com where I've got heaps more curly hairstyles, tips and tutorials. Now let me know what you'd like to see next on Hair Romance. Um, drop me a comment below um, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you'd like to see more curly hair videos. I'm also over on Instagram at Hair Romance if you'd like to give me a follow over there. Uh, where I post daily hairstyle tips and inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have fun with your hair, and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, oh, I've been going for a minute. Okay, I better start talking. <laughs> oh, I need a mirror.
So you can buy a whole heap, heap, you can buy these anywhere. <laughs>